am Dr. Ankita Goel, Reproductive Medicine Specialist at Viva Fertility. Today, I'll be telling you about assisted reproductive techniques. What is assisted reproductive techniques or ART? According to CDC guidelines, any fertility treatment where we handle the female oocytes and embryos outside the body are called as assisted reproductive techniques. The procedure includes in vitro fertilization where the oocytes are surgically removed from the female ovaries and then they are mixed with sperms. The embryos which are formed are transferred back into the uterus. This is called, called as IVF. The procedures where the sperms are handled or the ovaries are induced without the intent to, re, uh, to uh, retrieve the oocytes is, uh, is not included in the assisted reproductive techniques. So what is the procedure of IVF? The first step is oocyte retrieval where the ovaries are stimulated by giving daily hormone injections to the patient. The patient receives around 10 to 12 days of hormone injection and once the follicles reach a suitable size, they are, they are retrieved surgically in the uh, OT. The next step is formation of embryos. This is done by mixing the oocyte with sperm. There are two procedures by which we can mix the sperm with oocyte. One is conventional IVF where the sperms are just left in the surrounding of oocyte. The another procedure is ICSI where the sperms are injected into the oocyte that is called as ICSI. The third step is embryo transfer. Once the embryos are formed after the ICSI or conventional IVF, the embryos are transferred back into the uterus. So this can be either done fresh, like fresh transfer can be done that is in the same cycle within few days of uh, oocyte retrieval or it can be done in, the, uh, in a separate cycle. This is called as frozen embryo transfer. So let's talk about the success rate of IVF. It depends upon multiple factors, the first being the quality of embryos, which in turn depends on the quality of gametes that is sperm and the oocyte. Second thing is presence of comorbidities like PCOS, endometriosis. Also, it depends upon the semen analysis report. It also depends upon the age of patient and number of embryos transferred. On an average, when we do a single day 3 embryo transfer, the success rate is somewhere around 25 to 30 percent. And when we do a single blast transfer, which is not PGT tested, it, the success rate is somewhere around 35 to 40 percent. But when we do two day 5 embryo transfer, the success rate is somewhere around 60 to 65 percent. So let's talk about the potential risks associated with in vitro fertilization. The first is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. This is more common in females having multiple number of follicles. So this, uh, when the hormone injections are given to patients having multiple follicles, their ovaries increase in size and also they can accumulate fluid in their abdomen and other uh, body spaces. Nowadays with improved techniques, improved protocols and uh, improved monitoring, improved uh, blood tests, all these complications have decreased and it can be prevented as well. The second complication is injury to blood vessels and bleeding and also other abdominal organs during the oocyte retrieval and a very rare chance of infection is also there. So now let's talk about what are the various stages of infertility treatment. The first step is usually history taking. The patient when the couple comes a complete history taking history is taken where we uh, ask about menstrual history, surgical history, medical history, any treatment taken all these history is noted down and uh, then the patient is advised some investigation based upon the history which can include some blood tests, which can include ultrasound, uh, semen analysis and also it depends upon the, some special test can also be advised depending upon the uh, patient's history. Now all these all these history taking and investigations ultimately uh, are done to find the problem causing the infertility so that we can provide uh, the targeted treatment for that. A very common question with, uh, which arises with the patient is what is good for them fresh embryo transfer or frozen embryo transfer. So what is first of all fresh embryo transfer when an embryo is transferred in the same cycle 
or within a few days of oocyte retrieval is called as fresh embryo transfer and when an embryo is frozen under in liquid nitrogen at a very low temperature that is minus 196 degrees celsius is and the embryos are then transferred or first they are thawed and then transferred in a separate cycle is called as frozen embryo transfer now what is good for a patient it depends on first thing is history what is the problem what is the diagnosis of the patient second thing is what are what is the endometrial lining Second is how are her hormone levels and third what is the embryo status. So it is a holistic decision, it is not a unilateral decision. We take this call depending upon many factors and then only we can take call like whether this patient requires a fresh embryo transfer or frozen embryo transfer. Whatever transfer is done either it is fresh or frozen, the intent is to get a uh, pregnancy, to get the implantation and a live pregnancy. Please subscribe to this channel. Uh, there are many informative videos which will clarify your doubts on IVF. In case there are other doubts for which you don't find answers, please ask us in the comment section. I will like to answer your question. Uh, I hope I was able to uh, help you with this video. Uh, and if it helped you, kindly like it and share it so that it can reach other couples also who are confused about IVF. Thank you.